All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. Who are you, sir? I'm the younger brother to the man lying in there, and this is my brother's wife. Can I talk to you guys in my No. House? Tell us what happened, please. Your husband is dead. Yes, actually, he was brought in dead. Initial lab results indicate that he was poisoned. Poisoned? <laughs> Officer! Arrest her! I'm Inspector Show Garuba. And I've been asked to bring you in for questioning. For what? For the murder of your husband. Please save my time so that I'll save yours. Don't you have any conscience? I'm the one whose husband is in the morgue. I'm the accused. So I'm the one whose time should be saved so I could go mourn my dead. The person who you should be asking all these questions is wrote to me. Nathan's friend. My husband said he had he had a drink and food with him before coming to the surprise birthday dinner that I had planned for him. Try and really hard. I'm innocent. All the evidence is brought to us you. Everything. You were the one sitting with him before he died. You were the one that shared a meal with him before he died. But you have affiliations with a person that served the meal before he died. And now she's gone missing. And you are telling me that you know nothing about it. Or that you're innocent talking. I, I swear to you, I swear to you, I, 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 don't, I don't know what happened to Nate, I, don't, I didn't kill Nate, I don't know where the girl is, I don't! The phone calls only one number, and only that number calls the phone. They, they also send themselves romantic messages. Come on, sis. Look, <laughs> this is immaterial. The only thing I can make of this is, your husband had an affair, and he was smart enough to get a separate phone for and it. Why do you talk about this so casually? Like, like it's a good thing to do to your partner. Hey, we cheat. We do. Look, he's dead. He cheated. Men cheat. It's nothing. It's got nothing to do with his death. Why do you have a gun in your bag? Why is it blood on your hand? Why do you have to shower? Oh, you don't want to talk. It's fine. Don't talk. I'm gonna call it. I thought you were just stupid. I didn't know you were also desperate to go look for something that's not looking for you. No. You were sleeping with my husband. Husband? You told me how boring you were and how you hardly gave him what he wanted in bed. You should be thanking me for doing your job. You just don't stop. So let's talk about this one. Forever is not enough. And it really almost boils down to something that we've talked about right in the past which is taking your relationship to third parties and you know in this case it's a little different in the sense that the supposed to be friend that she was telling now capitalized on the things that she was telling her to now start talking and dating her husband i can't say this enough keep your marriage issues to yourselves talk about it you know, keep an open heart to understanding your partner, you know, making necessary adjustments so that two of you would be happy. You know, because once you take it to a third party, everything starts going south because this third party knows nothing about you guys. They know absolutely nothing about the dynamics besides what you have told them. And in most cases, <laughs> what you have told them is really the bad side. In some cases where you have told them the good side, those good side that you mentioned might have even started brewing jealousy. So by the time you hit them with the bad side, you know, it's now an opportunity for them to, you know, <laughs> enter and conquer, you know, scatter. So try to keep your relationships away from all these, uh, all these, your friends, you know, whether they are married or unmarried, you know, keep it away from them. Uh, you know, deal with your issues with your partner 
you know you guys be open to communicate be open to empathize be open to make adjustments when necessary when you love somebody you have to be able to make these concessions you know whereby you know you give up some things and they give up some things and you guys you know come to this amicable understanding you know this one as you guys can see you know the husband died uh, the relative to the husband is thinking that is the wife uh, the wife of course is like always talking to her friend not knowing that her friend was part of the whole conspiracy until the last minute so uh, you know this is really a big lesson you know ladies keep your relationships away from your friends you know even if they know the good thing the bad the ugly you know all these things can brew jealousy and it can also brew resentment so when you end up telling them the bad things all that happens is they just now capitalize on it to get back at you or scatter your marriage or you know put some sort of you know doubt in your head about your partner and it never really goes down well from there you know same thing with guys you know keep these things away from your guys you know and you know try to discuss it with your woman it's always better and easier when two of you discuss issues that have to do with only two of you you know once a third party comes in they scatter things it almost always scatters things you know rarely you meet good people that would you know pray for you you know tell you to take it easy yeah those people are there too and yes you may have come across those people but everybody is not like that you know and because you don't know who is who it's always better to just keep it to yourself but guys if you guys love this kind of topic please like even if you don't like it uh, please like too guys like because uh, maybe one of these days i'll talk about something that you will like and you know you'll be glad that you're around this is cj from magnetic studios and as always i'm here to deliver sense. Thank <laughs> you.